Hey guys, welcome back to another classic arcade repair. Actually, I just wanted to throw the camera on and record this because I thought it was pretty cool and I think you guys might like this. I repaired a Seawolf, uh, Midway 8080 Seawolf, a while ago. And I got it back saying the periscope doesn't work. And I didn't have a way to test the periscope. So I had to create a way to test the periscope. And long story short, I did fix it, but I wanted to record how I went about it. And I wanted to show you guys this because I think it was really cool. So check this out. All right, this is the input part of the schematic for Seawolf. And it's very hard to read, but up here is coin and start, which is on the 12-pin connector. The 12-pin connector is this guy. So I had to wire that in on these two pins. I had already had these wired up because I have this to where I can hook up a audio board. Seawolf audio board. So I already had that. I just had to add these two wires and a ground wire. So I needed, because these all have a common ground, you know, the, you ground them for the inputs to work. So here we have start and coin. I got those wired in. And then I had to create this connector here with these six lines. And the six lines are the five bits. How the periscope works, it's a circuit board that has a wiper with six positions on it. It's a great big wiper that has six positions. One of those positions is ground. So it's just going across the ground. And what it's doing is it's grounding out and creating a binary, a five-bit binary code for the CPU to, to decipher where the position is of the periscope. It's really quite simple. So yeah, you have your 5-bit input on here. You can see here we have, it's hard to read. I think that's bit 1, 2, bit 3, 4, bit 5, and trigger. You now the trigger is to fire the missile, right? So I have the trigger right here, fire. That's the trigger. This is coin, that's start, and then I have a 5-bit dip switch. And this is where I can set the 5 bits for the periscope position. And what I have done here is I've put stickers on of where these binary codes translate to where the torpedo is being fired. And this side is when bit 5 is low. That side is when bit 5 is high. And it just goes in reverse. So this says 98BA, 98BAEF. It's the opposite way. 98BF all the way down to 0 on this side with that fifth bit being a 1. And it's really cool. What I'm going to do is I'll set the camera up. All I have to do is, is set these binary digits. See, this thing right here. If I turn, right now it's set to F with the fifth bit being a 0. So that is F on the left side of the screen. So when I fire it, it should hit F. So what I'll do is I'll coin this thing up. Now it's coined up, and now we're going. Now I'll fire this thing, and you'll watch it go all the way up to F. See that? Here it comes. F. Now if I set this down, and I'll just switch it to zero. Okay. Now I went to the other opposite extreme. Now it's set at zero. See that? It's set down to zero. 
No, when I fire it, zero is right here on the very end. See, here it comes. Here comes another one, and it hits zero. See that? And then one is the next one. So if I take this and I, of course, what I'm going to do is let me set the, uh, I'm going to set the camera up and we'll look at this and I'll go through zero all the way up to F and you'll see them hit the little tags. Okay. Um, I don't know if you can really read that. Let me try to darken those a little bit. Yeah, there we go. That's better. So now you can actually see the numbers, numbers and letters, whatnot. So I'll go ahead and I'll start down at zero and we'll go all the way up to F. Okay. Right now it is on zero. Okay, there's zero. Okay. Now I'm going to move it to one. Okay, here's one. All right, I'll move it to two. Okay, now this is binary two. All right, now I'll move it to three. This is binary three. Right, now I'll move it to four. This is four. Okay, here's five. Right? In six. Right? Now we'll go to seven. Okay? Now eight. Here's eight. I gotta restart. Okay, here's eight. All right, now nine. Yeah, I thought this is really cool. Nine, okay. Now A. Here's A. And then B, here's B, right, B, and we'll go to C, here's C, right, and D, There's D, okay, and E, there's E, all right, and F, here's F, there you go, restart, there's F. Now if I take that fifth bit and I put it to one, now F is over here on the opposite side, but it's just like inver inverse. And then it does this side of the screen when that bit, that upper bit is a one. I'll put it all the way down to zero and it'll be the extreme right of the screen. Here's zero. See that? Yeah. 
and right smack dab in the quarter mark of the screen looks like it's number four is about a quarter so I'll put it to four and it's you see it's about a quarter of the screen over there so yeah I thought that was really kinda cool I had to uh, Oh, you weren't even seeing that. Here's uh, that four that I was just showing you, the quarter of the screen over that way, right there. Yeah. Yeah, really kind of cool. This one, it just had two of these 153s were bad. Is all that was wrong with it. But I, I didn't have a way to test it, and I was like, yeah, if I'm going to be repairing these, I need to be able to test that. So I just built this. And uh, I used a dip switch and I just cut it down to five switches. I put in a coin and a start and a fire and then wired it into that. I still don't have the lights and all that, but yeah. And it's just a little prototype board. Yeah, pretty cool. But yeah, I just thought I'd. Uh, make a quick video and show you guys that I thought that was pretty cool it's basically got 32 positions along the screen all right see you guys on the next classic arcade repair bye for now all right guys well I had put this video together and actually published it and I removed it really quick because I want to add this to the end of the video because I think this is kind of cool and it just kind of proves this out um, and we can actually see how these traces here these this is the PCB this is the periscope PCB and we, we can see the relationship from this to what I have up here this is from my video I just took a little screenshot of it and basically you have here this is the wiper that goes along this is the ground strip so it's always it's just this is the lowest the least significant bit up to the most significant bit and you can see where half of it when when you get to the half way mark then it's always on that just means it's going to the other side of the screen but you can see, I think it's always one, at least one. It, I don't think it ever gets to zero. I think it starts at one. Because you can see over here, this is the least significant bit, which is one the whole time over here. And I think it's one the whole time up here, too. So it's one, starts at one. I don't think that zero is valid. Even though it, it might be, it might be valid, but they start they start this at one because they want it to come in a little bit from the end of the screen I, I'm thinking because I don't see where it can ever be zero right because <clears throat> this is a one all the way to the end of the track and I bet you this is one all the way to the end of the track as well so it's starting at one but then as this thing creeps forward as this wiper creeps forward it makes contact first with one so we have our one right here and then it connects these two so that's three so you have one three and then we have a zero here and a one so that's two so it says it goes one three two one three two and then when it gets here at this I need something to point with when it gets right here you can see it's the two middle bits with a zero here and a zero here so that's six so we have one three two six one three two six right and then after six it moves over and we have one 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 zero that's seven and then after seven we get a zero here it moves over to right here and then we have a one least significant one zero 
1, 0, that's 5. And then after 5, we have our 1, 0, 1, 0. It creeps over to right here, and we have 0, 0, 1, 0. That's 4. And then after 4, it moves over to right here, and we have 0, 0, 1, 1, or 1, 1, 0, 0. This is the most significant bit right here. 1, 1, 0, 0 is C. And then it creeps over to right here, and we have 1, 1, 0, 1, which is D. And then we have F, which is right here, 1, 1, 1, 1. And then it creeps over to here, and we have 1, 1, 1, 0, which is E. So F and then E. And then after E, we have A, which it comes over to here, and that's 1, 0, 1, 0. And that's A. And then the next one is B, 1, 0, 1, 1 which is B, and then 9, which is 1, 0, 0, 1, and then 8, right in the center. Remember, right in the center of the screen was 8. 1, 0, 0, 0. That's 8. So that proves that out. And then when you get over to here, after you get 8, then it comes over and it, that most significant bit turns to 1, and it just flips the screen. And then it starts over with 1, 0, 0, 1. No, it starts at 0, it looks like. 0, 0, 0. Most significant bit being 1. So it goes, it goes backwards. It, 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 goes, it goes increments up. And then it increments back the other way, 8, 9, B, A, just, just like I said in that. But I wanted to go over this. I think that's pretty cool how you can actually look at this and prove out why we're seeing what we're seeing. So just kind of wanted to add that on to the end of this video. All right. Thanks a lot, guys, and see you on the next one.